in this video we are going to see about asynchronous data transfer before we move on to asynchronous data transfer let us see about data transmission data transmission can be done either parallel or serial in parallel data transmission the sequence of data can be transmitted parallelly at a time in a serial data transmission a data can be sent in sequence one at a time Serial data transmission can be classified into synchronous data transfer and asynchronous data transfer. Synchronous means at the same time um, that is the device which sends data and the device which receives data are synchronized to the same clock and this technique is used with compatible memory device. Asynchronous means uh, at a regular interval time. This method uh, data transfer is not based on predetermined timing pattern. This technique of data transfer is used when the speed of an I.O. device does not match with the speed of the CPU and the timing characteristics of I.O. device is not predictable. In a computer system, CPU and I.O. interfaces are designed independently of each other. When the internal timing in each unit is independent from the other and the register in interface and registers of CPU uses its own private clock. In that cases, a CPU and I.O. device must coordinate for this asynchronous data transfer by using strobe and handshaking methods. The strobe control method of asynchronous data transfer employs a single control line to time e each transfer. This control line is also known as a strobe and it may be achieved either by source or destination. Depends on which initiate transfer. Let us see about source initiated strobe for data transfer. The block diagram and timing diagram of a strobe initiated by source unit is shown here. The data bus carries the binary information from source unit to destination unit. The strobe is a single line that informs the destination unit when a valid data word is available in the bus. The source unit first places the data on bus. After a brief delay, the source activates the strobe pulse. The information of the data bus and the strobe signal remains in an active state for sufficient time period to allow the destination unit to receive the data. The source removes the data from the bus for a brief period of time after it disables its strobe pulse. For example, consider a CPU as a source unit and a memory unit as a destination. Now CPU places a word on the data bus and informs the memory unit that this is a right operation. This block diagram and timing diagram shows uh, that uh, destination initiated stroke for data transfer. In this method, uh, the destination unit activates a stroke pulse informing the source to provide the data. The source unit responds by placing the requested binary information on the unit to accept it. The data must be valid and uh, remain in the bus long enough for destination unit to accept it. The falling edge of strobe pulse can be used again to trigger a destination register. The destination unit uh, then disables the strobe and the source removes the data from the bus after a predetermined time interval. The transfer of data between the CPU and an interface unit is similar to strobe transfer. The data transfer between an interface and an I.O. device is commonly controlled by a set of handshaking lines. Because uh, strobe method having some disadvantages, that is uh, the source unit that initiate the transfer has no way of knowing whether the destination unit has actually received the data item that was placed in the bus. 
and also the destination unit that initiate the transfer has no way of knowing whether the source unit has actually placed the data on the bus so to avoid these problem we must use the handshaking method of a data transfer the handshaking method solves the problems raised in stroke method by introducing a second control signal that provides a reply to the unit that initiates the transfer the data transfer can be occur as a source initiated transfer and a destination initiated transfer let us see about a source initiated transfer using a handshaking method the two handshaking lines generated from the source are data valid and data accept data valid is a generator that a source to destination to inform whether there are data valid data in the bus and data accept is a generator at destination side to inform whether it can accept data the block diagram and timing diagram shows the exchange of uh, signals between two units the sequence of event shows the four possible states that the system can be at any given time the source unit initiates the transfer by placing the data on the bus and enabling its data valid signal the data accepted signal is activated by the destination unit after it accepts the data from the bus the source unit then disable its a data valid signal which invalidates the data on bus and uh, data accepted signal will be disabled at the destination unit so that the system goes to its initial state the scheme allows a uh, arbitrary delay from one state to the next and permits each unit to respond at its own data transfer rate the rate of transfer is determined by the slowest in it, the destination initiated transfer using handshaking in this scheme uh, it has two handshaking lines which are data valid and uh, ready for data the source unit in this case uh, does not place data on the bus until after it receives the ready for data signal from the destination unit the handshaking procedure follows the same pattern as uh, in a source initiated uh, handshaking method here the destination unit initiates the transfer by by placing uh, ready for ready to accept data and enable ready for data the source unit enables a data valid signal and the destination unit uh, disable the ready for data and uh, accept data from the data bus and at last um, the source unit disables the data valid uh, signal which invalidate the data on bus and it goes to its initial state